I've been moving towards an off-grid lifestyle living in my caravan home for the past three years. When I originally decided to downsize, my motivation was to reduce my financial obligations, not necessarily to live off-grid. However, as I slowly discovered off-grid power options, I learned how using these systems meant I had more flexibility with where I situated my caravan and how I could also entirely avoid an electricity bill. With limited financial resources, I moved into the caravan before the renovation was complete back in 2018, and at this stage I hadn't completed the plumbing. Once I moved in, I quickly adapted to living with no running water, and three years on, I still don't have running water. There are many opinions on what off-grid living means. Some suggest it means you don't use anything man-made, and if you do, you probably should have made it yourself without the assistance of man-made tools. I guess they expect you to make the tools yourself as well. While others such as Wikipedia suggest off-grid living traditionally refers to not being connected to the electrical grid, but can also include utilities like water, gas and sewer systems. Since living in my caravan, I've discovered how easy it can be to decrease your impact as an organism on the environment and live independently by making alternative lifestyle choices like using solar power, collecting rainwater and using a compost toilet. There are many aspects of my semi-off-grid lifestyle I'm yet to improve, however I'm held back because I don't own the land that I live on. This prevents me from expanding my solar farm, collecting rainwater and setting up permanent structures on the land to sustain an off-grid lifestyle entirely. Here in Australia it's not legal to live off the grid or in a mobile home in all council zones. Some areas permit this lifestyle and others don't. This is another aspect I have to consider because if my habitants becomes an eyesore for those who don't appreciate off-grid living, I may be forced to move my home to a new location. My future plans involve buying my own land, creating a solar farm to power my home, collect and store rainwater, invest in hydro panels to collect drinking water from the air, grow my own food, invest in a biogas system to provide me with gas for cooking, buy a hand driven washing machine and an electric vehicle. At the moment, my power is generated from sunlight, stored in two batteries providing power to my fridge, fan, lights and small electronic devices like my phone, blender, iPad and laptop. However, this week I invested in a new computer to keep up with my workload. I've been forced to connect to the grid power to be able to use this new computer. I'm yet to work out what I need to upgrade in order to run this computer off my solar power.
My water is collected in containers from a town water tap on the property. I use this for drinking water and washing the dishes. My outdoor shower on the property also uses town water and I collect most of this water to pour onto the nearby gardens. I do a lot of cooking on my fire pit outside but I also use a gas stove inside and gas Weber barbecue so I do require gas to prepare food. I also wash my clothes at a local laundromat which uses grid power. My car uses a lot of fuel, a lot I might add, so I plan to sell this car and buy an electric car. My partner just bought a Tesla a month ago and since we've been mainly using his car, reducing the amount of fuel driving I've been doing. I also use my electric bike as often as I can and I take my recyclable and general rubbish to the local dump. I use environmentally friendly products so I can empty my wastewater onto the nearby garden as well. So there you have it, an honest explanation of what my semi-off-grid system is like right now, how I need to improve it, and how I hope to live in the future. Many may ask why I want to live entirely off-grid. It may seem like a lot of effort, especially when you can live in a traditional home with no need to worry about utilities. My answer is, it's just the right thing to do for our planet, wildlife, ourselves, and our future generations. The technology exists, we just need to learn how to incorporate it into our lives and also understand why on a large scale this technology isn't commonly being used in traditional living scenarios yet. I think we've become quite a lazy species and most people alive today in western cultures can't imagine a world without a flushing toilet or an electric jug to boil water, making life quicker and easier. I'm all for modern technology, but we need to be sure the technology we're investing in is ethical for the planet and also ourselves. Luna, do you want a blueberry? Yeah. Luna. 